Let's see if we can do a bunch of problems using everything we have learned so far about place value. So I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little table, actually a large table. Let me, let me write down. I'm going to use the same colors I've used before. So let's say this is the thousands, thousands, thousands. And then, so below this, I'm going to put how many thousand buckets I have, or thousand cans of marbles, or whatever you want to consider. Then I have the hundreds, hundreds. And then I have the tens, and the color, the color this was tens, tens. And then I have the ones, which I had done in yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of drawing the, the cans to scale, I'm just going to draw a circle to represent how many of each kind of can we have. And I'll write down kind of how many marbles are in that can. So let's say on the thousands, so let's do, let's do the first example. Let's say in the thousands I have, let's say I have, let's see. I won't even try to talk it out loud. There's another one, and there's another one. And then on the hundreds, let's say I have, and I'm not drawing them a scale. I'm not drawing the hundreds. Uh, any smaller. Although if I did draw them scale, they'd be one tenth the size, right? So let's say the, that's the hundreds, and let's say I don't know. Let's say I have a bunch of tens. So let's say, and I might have to. I don't know if I could draw them to scale, but I might have to draw them a little bit smaller. I'll draw as many. I don't have to do. I'm actually getting these problem from the Singapore math textbook, uh, but I don't have to follow the exact same numbers as them. So let's say these are my tens. And then my ones, let's say. And obviously, not all of these circles are created equal. Some are flatter than others. And let's say these are the ones. So my question to you is, what number is this? What number does this represent? So remember, this is thousands. So each of those circles represent a 1,000, just so you understand what we're doing. That's a 1,000. That's a 1,000. That's a 1,000. So how many thousands do we have? We have three thousand, right? You could you could view this as maybe we're looking at the top of the of the can that contains the the marbles. So this can would have a thousand, this one has a thousand, and this one has a thousand. So we have three thousand from the thousands. I guess you could call it from the thousands place. How many hundred do we have? Well, that's a hundred. That's a hundred. And how many do we have? We have two of them, so we have two hundred. How many tens do we have? You might even be bored now. I'm I'm being so monotonous. You have a ten here, ten here, ten here, ten here, ten here. How many tens is that? That's five tens. What's five times ten? Well, it's fifty, right? So, the our tens cans we can contribute fifty marbles to our overall number. And then how many ones do we have? Well, these aren't cans. These are the individual marbles blown up so they look really big. So th each of these, that's one. One, 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 and you can kind of view you know this is the tens place. So each of these, each of these circles is ten. This is the hundreds place. So each of these circles is a hundred. This is the thousands place. So each of these circles is a thousand, and these are the, this is of course the ones place. So each of these circles is one. So how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four ones, four ones. So what's our final number? It's going to be three thousand plus two hundred plus fifty plus four. So for the ones place, we take the four, right? We take the four for the ones place, and then what's the tens place? How many tens do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five tens. So in the tens place, and that comes from the five and fifty, right? So what's this number? It's fifty-four. Fifty-four. So it goes in the hundreds place. Well, how many hundreds do we have? That's how many right here. Well, we have two hundreds. One, two. Or two hundred, two hundreds, two hundred. I'm getting, I'm, I'm hypnotizing myself. Let's see. So that's two, right? And that comes from the number of hundred cans we have, or this two here, or the two hundreds. And then how many thousands do we have? Well, we have three circles or buckets or cans of a thousand. One, two, three. That's three thousand. So another way to write that. That is three thousand. Right? So what is how do we say this number again? Well we could look at you know just here, we could say, well this is three thousand two hundred fifty four. And we could have, you know, in this expansion notation we could have done it the same thing. We could have said this is three thousand two hundred 
54, or three thousands, two hundreds, five tens, and, and four. So what is that? That's 3,254. So let's do another one real quick, just because, just well, they're so much fun. Let me do another one. Let me erase this. There you go. Look how efficient that was. OK, so let me, let me do another example. Let me do the thousands first. Let me do squares, actually, just to, just to mix it up. So that's the thousands. So I have square canisters now, unless what's my hundreds? Let's say I don't have any. I have no cans of hundreds. And let's say my tens, I don't know, I have, let's say I have four of them. And I don't know, ones, I don't know, let's say I have, I don't know, you can count them. And they're not drawn to scale. So what number does this represent? Well, once again, if I just, these are each 1,000, right? So this is 1,000. This is 1,000. This is a 10, 10, 10, 10. And these are each 1. One, 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 one. So, how many thousands we have? Well, we have two of these canisters of a thousand, so that's two thousand. How many hundreds do we have? Well, we have zero hundred, zero hundred. <laughs> I don't know how to write that any better than just zero or zero hundred, hundred. And then how many tens do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Well, what's four times ten? Well, that's forty. And how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Well, five times one is just five. So you have two hundred plus zero, uh, two thousand plus zero hundreds, plus forty plus five. Oh, I should have written that last one in yellow. Sorry, don't want to confuse you. So how do we write that out? What happens when we add all of these together? Well, we could do is do the exact same way as we did before. We say, well, you know, in the extreme right, we have our ones place. So we say, how many ones do we have? We have five ones. Then we go to the tens place. How many tens do we have? We have one, two, three, four tens. So this counts the number of tens we have. How many hundreds do we have in the hundreds place? Well, I, I can't see any. We have zero hundred. So we have zero hundred there. That's a zero. And then how many thousands do we have? Well, one, two, two thousands. And once again, this two is the same thing as a two and two thousand. This 0 is the same zero as in 0, 100. This 4 and 40 is the same thing as this 4. And this 5 and 5, well, that's, that's just the 5. And how do we say this? 2,000, there no, there's no 100, so it's just 2,045. Let's do one last one, just to like really, really hammer the point home. Let me erase this super fast. Very good. All right, so let me draw. And actually, I'm not even going to, let's, let's, let's say that, OK, let's do some thousands first. So oh, look at that. That's a weird looking one. Then let me do some hundreds. I don't know. Let's say that we have, let's say that we have, I don't know if I like it drawn like this. Let me make it so it fills in. Then let's do the, let me do it like that. Then let's do the tens. Yeah, I like that better. So that's the 10. I don't know how many we, let, let me throw a couple in. I don't know, that looks good. Let's say we have no ones. What number is this? We could do it fast, right? So how many ones do we have? How many ones? Let's you know how many places we have the thousands place, we have the hundreds place, we have the tens place, we have the ones place. Well, how many ones do we have? Well, I don't see any, so we have zero ones. How many tens do we have? I see two tens, so we put a two in the tens place, and as we know, each of these are tens, so that represents twenty. And lo and behold, that's what we have there. We have twenty written down. And then how many hundreds do we have? Well, one, two. And so in the hundreds place, we write the number two. And it represents what? It represents 200, right? Because each of these are 100. So, so far we have 220. And how many thousands do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 thousands. And so another way of writing, of, well, I think you know how to say this by this point. This is 4,200 and
twenty because you know it's not like twenty one or anything because we have no ones. So it's four thousand two hundred and twenty, which is the same thing. You could have also written it down. You know, four thousand two hundred and twenty. Four thousand two hundred and twenty. I think I'm writing it as many different ways as I can, so it really uh, hits the point home. So let me do let me do one last one, just because you know we've we've done it where we had no hundreds, we've done it where we had no ones. So let me do another example where we might have no something else. Let's say we have I don't know. Let's say we have one canister of a thousands. I don't know. Let's say we have three hundreds. So we have no tens. I don't know. Let's I'm gonna throw a couple in here, more than a couple. And these are all, even though they're different sizes, these are all represent ones. So what is this number? Well, how many ones do we have? What goes in the ones place? We have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So one. Oh, I'm using the wrong tool. We have one one. So that's the ones place. So now we're in the tens place. How many tens do we have? I don't see any. We have zero. Zero tens. How many hundreds? One, two, three hundreds. And how many thousands? Well, we have one thousand. So how do we how do we say this number? Well, we have one thousand plus one, two, three hundreds plus zero ten, so we can ignore that, and then we have six ones, so plus six. So it's one thousand oh sorry, this is three hundred, not three thousand. Ignore that. Three hundred. So it's one thousand three hundred and six. There's no tens. Oh, I don't know why I wrote a one here. There's this is a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six. I must have been thinking one's place and I wrote a one there. So even the best of us can make careless mistakes. So as I said, and that's why I did it different ways so we I caught myself. What is this number? It is one thousand three hundred and six, or one thousand three hundred and six, or one thousand plus three hundred plus six. Hopefully, you found that useful. I'll see you in the next video.